Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. You were tuned into Big Mike's blog. I am your humble, lovely, fantastic host, Big Mike, coming to you from my home. Um, hope everyone's doing well out there. I am doing absolutely wonderful. And you know why? Because I had a very, very delicious meal that yours truly made, which is wings and plantain. Maybe one day, I'm thinking, I might show you guys a meal, like one of my go-to meals that I cook. And maybe me and my friend Kat, when we do our vlog, I'm gonna cook a meal so you guys can actually see how your boy gets down the kitchen, okay? Maybe, we'll see how it goes, we'll see. Maybe not, maybe this will just be a mystery, you'll never know how I cook, how I cook in the kitchen. But maybe I will, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing great, like I said before. So, I'm going to be doing a vlog on a topic that um, I was I was given this topic or this idea to do this topic, uh, like this vlog topic, um, yesterday. And I was in the midst of doing it yesterday, but I was distracted because I um, talked to my sister for two and a half hours. Love my sister, so that happened. And then I had to deal with my landlord and other stuff, so I wasn't able to actually fully finish this vlog. So I figured I would just do it over. Um, because I figured why not and that and I also to have some I like other things I want to discuss in it that I didn't get a chance to discuss in it prior so I figured I would just redo it and now post it up for you lovely people to watch and critique and comment on and all that jazz and if you haven't already please do so already like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a neighbor to tell their next cousin to watch this lovely vlog okay so this topic I'm discussing for you guys and this might be a little bit controversial is um, I have been asked to give my opinions on the quality of women on the dating apps that I've been on. So um, whether it be Hinge that I'm currently on, POF, I'll do um, Tinder and Bumble, okay? So this might be a two-parter, we'll see how it goes um, because I kinda wanna give my decent experiences on the the, 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 my decent experiences with those women but also the not so decent experiences because that's at the end of the day what you guys want to really hear you don't want to hear me saying how great and wonderful everyone on these apps are do you want me you want to hear the dirt that's what you guys want to hear that's why i was asked this question i'm assuming so that's what i'm going to give you now i'm not doing this in a way where i'm trying to bash the women on these apps that's not what i'm trying to do and that's certainly not my intent I am simply trying to give my perspective and just my personal experiences with the particular women that I've dealt with on these apps. That is all. So do with it what you will, okay? So I guess um, my first, um, uh, I guess the quality of women. So I guess the first app I can discuss, because I've been on that app probably the most, is has been Hinge. So um, Hinge has been good so far. I would say, I would say this, minus two or three weird conversations more i would say about 90 percent of the women on hinge the conversations i've had have been good okay um for the most part um the women on there in terms of the quality great good really good women um i think you know they're very um i find the women there they kind of most of them kind of know what they want or have an idea of what they want um, they're easy going, very easy going to talk to, not very standoffish to some degree, um, and just very chill. So I would say that, um, like with other apps I've been on, and I think this is just kind of going to be the growing trend with this vlog that I'm going to be talking about, and just in general, a lot of conversations I've had with women have fizzled out. Um, and I would say, like I said in my Hinge um, blog that I talked about, so if you haven't watched that Hinge one, feel free. Um, I would say about 80% of the women that I've matched with on Hinge, I've never spoken to. So I'm going based off of just kind of the... So when I'm giving my opinion, it's just based off the women that I've actually spoken to. Now, I'm not saying those other 80% of women that I've never spoken to, they're bad or they're terrible, or they suck. It could be that they met someone else or they're not really on the app or they were on it one night when they were bored or they had a glass of wine and they felt like, hey, you know, I'm just going to go on this fucking dating app and just match with dudes and shit tonight and then I'm not going to talk to them tomorrow. Like, who the fuck? I don't know what the fuck their plan was. I don't know, okay? But that, you know, my foray with Hinge. I thought, I mean, Hinge is fine. I don't think Hinge is terrible. And like I said, I think the quality of women on Hinge is very good quality women. I will say that, honestly, the women on there are pretty good. Um, 
there are some gold digging women out there on there to be honest i've had some girl i've matched with girls who end up asking me to be their sugar daddy and uh i'm not doing that because first and foremost i don't believe in paying for something that i can get for free because i'm a cheap fuck like that and number two i don't deal with gold diggers you know so like i've had a few women like younger women say hey actually not even younger women i've had some older women too say hey you know would you you know you want to have this arrangement where you give me money and i'm like why would i do that like why the fuck would i do that and i guess they're surprised by that and i guess because other guys do it and have done it and who knows i might do a vlog on that too we'll see but yeah so i have that those are the one bad things i've had girls try to solicit me for sex i've had those and i'm like nah i'm good and you get the odd fake profile as well like the catfishing here and there but i think that's with any app so yeah so overall if i had to give like in terms of quality of women on hinge like a five like a, a five star rating i will give it about a four star four out of five stars okay i would say and that's perfect it's not perfect i think the app is good i think the women for the most part are good on the app but i think there are some bad apples but i think that's like with most apps that they're most bad apples okay so there you go with that so now we will move on to um bumble because bumble is the kind of the other app that i kind of was using a little bit um bumble is fine same as hinge i would say um i would say it's not as good as hinge because and like and i mentioned this in my bumble vlog as well and i always found this is funny to me that women that i've had women who have told me that you know they don't like that women try to you know they hate that men are really pushy when it comes to conversation or they say weird shit so you know women almost in, in a sense kind of say that they want to have control over the conversation like control in terms of who they talk to you know or and stuff like that and and bumble gives that opportunity bumble gives you the chance to match with a guy and you can control whether you talk to the guy but a lot of the women that i found hate bumble because they don't like to be the first person to talk they even hate the fact that guys will extend a match which is amazing to me because i'm like doesn't that show that the guy is actually interested in talking to you but girls that I've, I've been told hate that so i'm like you women don't make no sense so um there's that um <laughs> i just thought that was weird but in terms of my dealings with him i mean bumble it's been whatever um i remember i think about four years ago or no three years ago sorry um before i met my ex i had joined um bumble one night and it was like eight o'clock at night, I remember. And I was feeling good this night. So I posted like really good pictures and shit. And I got like 13 matches on hinge within an hour. Like I felt like fucking superstar, felt amazing. And then I went from feeling like a superstar to then feeling like a piece of shit because actually not one of those matches messaged me at all. They all disappeared. I extended, I think, one of them, and even that one disappeared. So, Bumble has this innate ability for, I guess, men, maybe just me, or maybe just me, this might just be a Michael Big Mike thing, that it really inflates your ego and your confidence because you have all this attention because so many, you look at your friggin' hot beehive, whatever the fuck they call it, like it's Beyonce or some shit, and you have all these fucking people in your beehive waiting to match with you, and then none of them talk to you. So it like, I don't know, it feels like a big kick in the nutsack. It's fucked up. But it's, but it is what it is. Like, I don't really, I go on it periodically here and there. And there's some girls I've met on there that are pretty cool. Um, some, not so much. Um, I get a lot of the, I don't know. Um, not really so much fake profiles, but I get a lot of just, I don't know. Some of the girls on there, they don't, so I find with Bumble, I would say that I, the girls that I've encountered, some of them don't really know what the fuck they want. And I think to some degree now Bumble has become a bit of a hookup app because that's just how some people have used it. So there you go. But um, overall, I think Bumble's fine. I think the interface of it is fine. I think it's cool. Um, if I had to give it, uh, in terms of the quality of women, I would say probably like a 3.5 out of 5. Not as low, but it's kind of, it's okay. It's like a mixed bag. Um, so there you go. So there's that. Um... So next is Tinder, okay? Now I'm going to tell you why I don't really fuck with Tinder as much anymore now. Um, but yeah, so Tinder, everyone knows fucking Tinder. Tinder's not, I don't need to explain Tinder to you people. You people most, most people know what the fuck Tinder is. So um, I've been off and on Tinder for a while. 
Um, I joined Tinder initially, like I said in my vlog, like in 20, like my first vlog, I joined in 2014. And this was pre hookup Tinder. This was when like you'd go on Tinder and there's actually like cool people to talk to. It was actually a cool app and you actually met up with women and women were actually cool. It wasn't this hookup fuck shit that it is now or that it's become. But um, I've not had the best experiences on Tinder because again, there's a lot of women out there that are gold diggers and all that type of shit and Bumble as well. A. And then B, I've had situations where I've matched with people that know each other. So, so I'll tell you a story. This is kind of a fucked up story. And what inspired me actually to share the story is I actually saw that girl picture on Hinge. And I actually X'd it right away because I'll never talk to or match with that girl ever again. So, about four years ago? Four years ago. No, six years ago. So this is 2014. Um, I was on, I met this girl on Tinder. Um, we had talked for about a couple weeks and we decided to meet up. Okay. So she lived out in Hamilton, I believe, but she used to come to Toronto for work because she used to work in Toronto. So it was a Sunday. I remember when we went out for wings because we went to this, um, St. Louis wings, my favorite wing spot, great wing spot. So we went there for wings, had a good date. Date was fine. Okay. Um, you know, kissed and all that and everything was cool. I thought it was a cool date. So we talked during the week. Everything was fine. So, for, fast forward now to Thursday. Thursday morning, um, I ended up going on Tinder early in the morning one night because I had woke up early, and I ended up um, matching with this other girl. And me and this other girl started having a conversation, and it was a really, really, really dope conversation. We really hit it off. It was really dope. We were really reviving. Everything was cool. So then, um, she said. Hey, do you want to talk on BBM? This was when BlackBerry Messenger was like the shit. Okay, this is the this is the date and go back how far this shit was. So, end up um, adding her on BBM. Uh, she messaged me, so I opened my BBM, and sure as shit, I shit you not, people. The girl who I was talking with on Thursday, her profile picture was of her and the girl that I went out with on the Sunday. They were because they they worked together. I think they were working at this travel agency. And they were taking a picture outside their cube, outside her cubicle. So I saw the picture and I instantly was like, fuck. That's the first thing I said. I was like, fuck, what do I do? So then I kind of talked to her on BBM for a bit. And then I'm like, oh no, what do I fucking do? Right? Because I didn't want to come across like I was trying to do some sneaky shit. I wasn't trying to have some like three-way gangbang or any crazy shit like that. I wasn't trying to act like I was trying to do anything sneaky. So what I did, which I thought was a noble thing to do, was to tell the girl that I went out with on Sunday that I matched with your friend on, on Tinder. And her friend was like, and the girl was like, oh. And we were laughing about it a little bit. So then she said, okay, Mike, well, what do you want to do then? I said, well, listen, out of respect for you, seeing that me and you went out on a date, I will not go out with a girl or whatever. I'll leave her alone and we will talk. She's like, okay, cool. So now I basically, so basically in a nutshell, I ghosted the girl's friend for like four hours. So basically from eight o'clock until about 1231, I didn't message the girl at all. Now the girl's messaging me on BBM, like saying, hey, Mike, hope you're having a great day. Hope everything's okay just messaging me constantly. Now I'm feeling like a big piece of shit because I just basically fucking ghosted her friend. So what I did now, so not to feel like a piece of shit, I ended up messaging the girl that I was that on BBM. And I and I, all I said to her is, listen, I just want to let you know that I ended up matching with I, the girl, um, that I ended up going out with your friend on Sunday that you work with. Now, mind you, these two girls actually work across from each other. So, as soon as I messaged the girl's friend that I was talking to, the girl on BBM, the girl that I went out with fucking lost her mind, loses her shit on me, cusses me the fuck out, like, cusses me out. She's like, oh, are you messaging my friend? I'm like, yeah, I'm just messaging, I'm, she's like, why are you messaging my friend? I said, listen, I'm just messaging your friend to let her know that me and you went out on a date, and that's it. That's all I messaged your friend to do. And she's like, but you told me we weren't going to talk to her anymore. I said, yes, I did say this, but 
I'm just trying to clear the air and be honest and say that I'm not, you know, I'm messaging a friend to tell her that we went on a date. She's like, well, why are you messaging her? I said, you're not hearing me. I told you I messaged her. I'm literally telling her that I'm just messaging her to see how she's doing. And she just would not listen. She ended up screenshotting our former conversation. I said, listen, I am fully aware of what the fuck I said this morning. I am just trying to be honest. So then, to make a long story short, I stopped talking to both of them. Because it ended up being this big fucking drama. They ended up having an issue, a brief little issue about it. And I just said, you know what? I bow out. Y'all need to figure this shit the fuck out. I can't be bothered. Um, so yeah. Uh, that was a little bit, you know, a bit of a weird... Yeah, that was too much. I couldn't deal with that. So, And I had another situation with a girl where I ended up matching. I ended up matching with her friend on Tinder one time. And then a few months later, I ended up talking with the girl's friend. And then I found out that the two knew each other because I ended up adding them, having them both on my IG. And then I just said, you know what? To avoid all that, I'm not messing with none of y'all. So, yeah. So that was my one bad fucked up Tinder story that I have. So, um, yeah. And uh, since then, I barely use it. I don't really go on it. I don't really get matches anyway. And if I do, in the odd time when I have gotten matches, I don't really talk to anyone. So, there you go. So, if I had to give Tinder a quality of women on Tinder, um, how would I give that? I guess like a 2.5? I don't know. It's 2.5. Because most, because to be very fair with, fair with you, to be honest, most women don't really talk on Tinder anyway. So, I can't really gauge women quality of women on there when most women don't talk on that app any fucking way when i have when i have gone on there and i have messaged women they don't talk they don't message you back so it's hard for me to give a, a good decent quality of it when i don't talk so there you go there's that and last but not least good old pof yeah um pof um I don't even go on, I honestly have not been on P, I, I haven't been on POF since last year, after I um, broke up with um, my ex, I briefly joined it, and I then, I was off it, like, I deleted it, like, um, December of last year, I was on it for maybe four months, and I just said, fuck this, because it's just, it's just, okay, so here's the controversial statement I'm going to make, and I'm not going to, and if I offend anyone, I apologize, so, now let me preface my comments. So I like a girl that's curvy. I like curvy women. Okay, I like a girl that has a nice butt, nice ass, nice chest, a little bit of gut, you know. But, you know, she's not, like, she takes care of, like, she's thick, but she takes care of herself. Um, the women on POF, however, that I end up, that end up messaging me are a little bit bigger than my preference. I'm just going to say it in that way. So they're like really big. And I think that's like the going theme with a lot of those women. They just love me for some reason. They just are all over me. They want to devour me like a cupcake or something. I don't know. But I'm just, that's not my preference. I'm not saying that I like skinny women. I like a girl with curves. Don't get it twisted. Like if you have a nice body, I'm all in. But if you're like 600 pound life, I'm out. I can't handle that. I'm sorry. Call me shallow call me misogynist that's good i can live with that but i know i like what i like and women listen if, you, if a guy was 600 pounds you wouldn't want to date that motherfucker either i don't give a fuck how personality how good his personality is so please miss me with that so anyway that's one thing but then the biggest reason why i fucking hate pof is that the women i've talked to on there and that's why i stopped is that they are a little bit too arrogant for my liking from the standpoint of they have this weird assumption, for some weird reason, because we're talking, that I'm automatically going to ask them out on a date. I'll give you two examples. One girl, me and her were talking. Conversation was decent. Okay? Decent conversation. About five minutes into the conversation, mind you, she doesn't even know my fucking name yet. She decides to say, tell me, so just so you know, Michael, I don't plan any dates that I go on with a guy. So, when we go on a date, I'm expecting you to make the plans. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm sorry, did I fucking even suggest or say that I even want to meet you in person? No, I don't think I did. I was scrolling up in the messages to, just to make sure that I didn't hint that I want to meet you. I don't like, don't assume that. Like, I don't even know you from a can of paint. So, for, let's pump your fucking brakes. 
Let's not assume that we're going to meet in person yet because I don't know if I like you that much. That I'd want to then get dressed, you know, make sure I have enough money to take your ass on a date. Let's, let's pump our brakes there. So that's number one. And number two, um, I had another girl where, well, this was more of a funny thing, actually. I probably laughed at this when I saw it. So I had came home, actually, uh, from eating wings. I went out with some friends for some wings. So um, this one girl had messaged me on POF. And so she was asking what I was up to. I said, oh, nothing much. I just came home from uh, getting wings. And she's like, oh, I'm hungry. I, I want wings. You should buy some for me. I'm like, or you should go take your ass to St. Louis wings and get your own fucking wings. I don't know. You could do that, too. So, yeah. So, uh, good old POF. <laughs> so great. Oh. Um, so, yeah. So, those have been my fucked up weird experiences on POF. So, um, but actually... Um, so POF, my number on POF, um, I'm going to probably give it like a 1.5 out of 10 or to 5 because the odd girl that I do talk to, we only talk to, I only talk to her for literally a day and then we don't talk anymore. So it's literally a waste of my time and the women that I do end up talking to, whatever. And then I'll message a girl and say, Hey, you seem pretty cool. I like your profile. And then I get blocked. So you know what? Fuck POF. POF can suck a dick as far as I'm concerned. So that's how I feel about POF. But I actually just remembered one hinge story that I'm going to tell you guys because it's a fucked up story. So it's a bad one. And this is what made me not put hinge at five out of five because of this bad date experience that I had last year. So last year, I went on a date with this girl, went out for pizza. Okay. Um, she took it was out in the East End, really good pizza place. So I went out, thought we had a good time. You know, we had a great time. We're talking, laughing, joking around, talking shit. Everything was cool. So towards the end of the date now, she asks me, do I want to split the bill? I say, sure, why not? I don't, you know, have a problem with that. I didn't have a problem paying, but she offered. So I said, sure, we'll split the bill. So split the bill. I go home. We're texting. Everything's cool. I'm thinking everything's cool. Okay. We text for about three days. Everything's fine. So now... I texted her, I think in the morning, and then the following morning, at like four in the morning, she texted me back, because I randomly just woke up, and she just fucking lit me at, lit my ass up, just went off on me, like, why the fuck are you texting me, and blah, 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 and I was like, whoa, what the fuck is going on here, and she's like, well, you didn't seem like you were interested in me, and blah, 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 I don't even know why you're even texting me, and I'm like, I, we were texting for three or four days after I figured everything was cool. And she's like, well, you made me pay for my date and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not into that. I'm like, whoa. I was like, hold up, hold up. You offered to split the bill. But then I realized she was testing me to see if I was maybe actually into her. Well, guess what, people? I failed that fucking test because I did. Because listen, if you say, let's split the bill, we're splitting the motherfucking bill. I have money. I don't mind paying for a date. Okay? I don't mind paying for the date. But if you offer to split said bill, guess what the fuck we're doing? We're splitting the motherfucking bill. So, yeah. So, she flipped out on me, and then we stopped talking, obviously. So, there you go. So, I forgot to add that hidden story in, but there you go. So, there you have it, people. My quality of women. I should put, like, a list up of all the dates, but, I mean... I think with my, the whole moral of this too is I don't think it's, I mean, quality of women, it depends on, it doesn't necessarily depend on the app itself, it just depends on the person you're actually talking to, because who knows, if I was to go on, let's say, OkCupid okay today, and open up a day, and open up a profile, I could talk to someone who's really dope and awesome too, or POF, or anything, so I don't think it's just necessarily that, but I just find the quality of women on different apps, sometimes it varies, sometimes it varies, okay, but on that note, I am signing off. This was very long. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, I'm sorry. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have any other vlogs that you wish for me to do, please let me know. I will happily do them. And uh, if you want to add me on Facebook, IG, just send me a text or send me a comment. And I will gladly add you lovely people. I am Big Mike signing off. I will see you guys another time. I'm going to do another vlog maybe today or tomorrow. But in any event, you guys stay safe. Stay blessed and all that jazz and i am out take care peace